we have a blackout. Yep, that's me. I opened the air circuit breaker of the running generator. That is why we are now under blackout. And why we did this blackout? That is because we have onboard technicians. These technicians are from Teresaki and they are doing an upgrade to our onboard alarm monitoring system and to our power management system current power management system is not incorporated to these computers or to our alarm and monitoring system so we are doing the synchronization in this board so they require to install additional ct so that we can have a remote control onto our alarm and monitoring computer but these current transformers will be installed after the bus bar and before the air circuit breaker going to the generators. So why do we need to put the vessel under blackout? So we have four generators on board and all are having this air circuit breaker. And we also have one shaft generator. And then we will be installing this a new current transformer on the bus bar after the air circuit breaker. So normally in the main switchboard, we have this bus type breaker but in this vessel we do not have this bus type breaker we cannot separate the feeder panel this feeder panel number one and feeder panel number two without doing a blackout because what we have on board is a bolted bus link meaning to say that this bolted bus link have a plates and bolted with with having around 16 volts that we need to remove. Of course, we cannot touch that one unless we block out the main switchboard. And to remove these bolts will require around one hour to two hours. Doing a blackout on the main switchboard or on the vessel is inevitable. That is why we just need to prepare all these things that we need to note before or prior doing this blackout. Normally, once we have a blackout, the main goal is to restore the power immediately. But if you intentionally did the blackout because you will be doing uh, maintenance on the main switchboard, the main goal is first, we need to ensure that we isolated the main switchboard properly without the generator automatically running so we need to prepare all these things prior doing this blackout the installations of cities requires around three to six hours so we tested the emergency generator and put it on load and check how much is the fuel consumption normally in the pms system we are doing only the onload for around 2 hours. So in this way, we will know if how much is the fuel consumption and if the emergency generator can last up to 6 hours or more. We have less machineries connected to the emergency switchboard. So we also tested the valves of each and every air reservoir so that we will know if there is a leak on these valves and once we want to restore the power, we know if we have enough air on each bottles. During blackout and only the emergency generator is running, we can only have the emergency air compressor and this uh, normal compressor will not be able to power on because they are connected to the main switchboard. Auxiliary boiler is also connected to the main switchboard, hence 
we will also lose the control for the auxiliary boiler. The accommodation will also lose the water supply and they cannot use the sewage treatment facilities because they are also connected to the main switchboard. So we need to give them heads up. Prior doing this job, we had a toolbox meeting and the chief engineer assigned different tasks to different engineers on the area that we will be doing and we will be covering. So my task is to do the isolation of the main switchboard. So I have four generators on board and only one is running. The three which are not running, we put them in local operation and we isolated the starting air. After that, we wrapped out all the ACBs of these non-running generators. This is to ensure that this non-running generator will be fully isolated from our main switchboard. We also earthed them so that we can discharge all the residual voltages in each phases. So now in this setup or in this situation, we only have one generator on load and we will put later on the emergency generator on load so that we can fully isolate the main switchboard to the emergency switchboard. After a while, we run the emergency generator and then we open the breaker or the bus tie breaker from the emergency switchboard to our main switchboard. In this way, the emergency generator is fully isolated to the main switchboard, hence no electrical supply onto our main switchboard. So now we are sure that only one generator is supplying our main switchboard. So the last thing that we need to do is to open the air circuit breaker of the running generator. Hence, we will now lose the power on to the main switchboard. After that, I racked out the remaining ACV, earthed it, and then did a no voltage test in each phases to ensure that there is no more voltage present in our bus bar. As you can see, it is now dark in the engine room. And then we went back to the engine control room and review what is our plan and let the crew proceed to each and every task given to them. The third engineer closed all these air reservoir valves to ensure that there is no air leak. Now in this setup, everything is isolated and the bus bar is completely dead Hence, we can now start the installation of these current transformers. As a piece of advice, if you are not sure in doing this kind of operation, better consult your superintendent or your electrical department so that we can avoid any accidents. So what we did right here is a completely dead bus bar. Hence, it is safe for the crew to work on each and every generator bus bars. After completing the installations of these current transformers, we wrapped in all the ACVs of each and every generator. After double checking the main switchboard and the installation site, we are now ready to restore the power. The third engineer will start the generator number four so he is now opening the starting air valve so now we can start it after running the generator we can now close the acb of the generator number four and Voila! We now have the power. Okay. Order 
Nagbubos ng pump. Pulling si water. Nagbubos ng water pump. Nagbubos ng water pump. Nagbubos ng water pump. Nagbubos ng water pump. After ensuring everything is in good place, we restore the power of the emergency switchboard connecting to our main switchboard. And lastly, I did my main job on board to do a refer rounds. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. This is your Lucky Jake and see you.